Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, you know who we're going to talk about once again. And hopefully... It'll be the last time, especially when we're talking about Pete Davidson. Cam, Kim, Kim. Pete didn't want you, girl. He just didn't want you. So stop trying to come and tell the press, the news people, anybody that wants to hear your plea. We know Pete didn't want you. Okay, girl? You were too much. You got four kids. Then you want him to... I don't know, take Kanye's place or something. He is like a particular person. That he's wanting to do things at the spur of the moment, you know, spontaneous. He wants to just get up and go. He might one day say, let's go to Egypt. Or let's go to Spain. Or let's go to Africa. You know, whatever. Because he's feeling like it. It ain't like he said in stone. He ain't with, I guess, Saturday Night Live anymore. He retired that. Now he's on to bigger and better things. But you have to stop and get a babysitter. Or you have to wonder who you can let them stay with. Especially when y'all go out the country. And he don't want to be bothered with all that. He just wants somebody, a ride or die chick. Like when he ready to go, she ready to go. When he ready to stay, she ready to stay. But. Kim has four young children. She can't go and do too much of anything. And it could also be a publicity stunt uh, to get her name out there more so than Kanye's name. All right. She wants to be hooked up or sh being shown by way of whomever. Okay. So she can't get uh, Kanye to do what she wants him to do. So he's on a he's on an outs with her. And she wanted so bad to to, to declare her name um, or declare herself as single. She went to the mountaintops for that. Finally got that. So she won't be seen as a whore dating somebody. And she's legally still married. So she fought for that legal separation thing. Real fast. Real hard. To make me wonder why didn't she just go for the whole kit and caboodle. Get the whole divorce and let it wait out. But no, she couldn't do that. She could not do that to save her life. Oh, uh, and that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just really how it goes. How it is. And everybody's just supposed to like, what do you call it? Fall to the wayside. But no, that's not how it go, Kim. That's not how it go. <sighs> so, Yahoo brought out this uh, excerpt, write-up, whomever. She brought it, uh, uh, Yahoo.com brought the story out about Kim Kardashian breaking up with Pete Davidson because she said she was totally exhausted. I said exhausted. Child, please. That person ain't bit more exhausted than the man in the moon. Pete just didn't want you, baby. And I'm pretty sure he tried to keep it quiet. But, who child. You wouldn't leave it alone, Kim. You just would not leave it alone. But let's go on into the article. They said Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson announced their split this week after less than a year of dating. A source told page six that at the heart of the breakup is their age difference. Now, we're not going to really rely on this person who's giving this news article to Yahoo.com because Kim knew how old the boy was. Okay, she knew how old 
the boy was when she was messing with him. Okay, maybe it's a good thing a tryst in the bed and that was all that was needed to get her back to feeling like a woman. I'm not sure, but she knew he was younger than her. But anyway, I digress. The article goes on and say Pete is 28, Kim is 41. They are just in very different places at the moment. The insider explained Pete is totally spontaneous and impulsive and wants her to fly to New York or what, wherever he's on a moment's notice. But Kim has four kids and it isn't that easy. She needs to focus on kids. So why in the world, my sidebar, why in the world would you go messing with somebody who had all that flexibility but yet you had none? Okay, you knew he was 28. You knew he liked to live life to the fullest on the spur of the moment. He just go with the whim. You know he uh he needed uh, uh that he lived that type of life and you didn't. Uh huh. He got a little squeaky toy. And it just is what it is. You try to make it work. He was like he ain't conforming to no set rules or no stuffy, bored, uh everyday run of the mill. I would say housewife but it would be man wife or no it would be house husband i should say and with all that he even express, expressed so much in so many little words that he wanted to have a child uh sooner rather, rather than later but he didn't try to get cam in that box he didn't try to stick her nicely in that box and tie a ribbon around it like marry me have my children and we can go into life uh, and grow old, grow old with one another on rocking chairs on a little uh, beach setting. Okay, I like. Oh, you kidding me? No, he didn't want you no more. You was just a rebound chick for him. Ah, cause he's not bad looking. He has money. He can replace you anytime he feels like it, Kim. And I think he did prior to this story reaching the forefront, meaning the social media uh wave okay but anyway we go back to the other news resource we're using which is yahoo.com while davidson is certainly busy as a working actor and comedian kardashian has a lot of responsibilities in addition to motherhood like her starring role in who loves the kardashians and, and several businesses including her recent launch of Skims line. The beauty mongo was totally exhausted by this relationship and other things going on in her life. Well, you kind of, sort of, put Kanye to rest uh, and all the little things he was trying to do here and there. So, y'all just couldn't work it out, you and Pete? Or were y'all on two different platforms, two different states, two different continents? And he wanted that space. That long space, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Adding to her regular responsibilities, there was also a lot of stress coming from ex-husband Kanye West. Really? Well, you handled that situation. He bowed out, not so gracefully. He had a little rough patches here and there. But then he went, he was flatlined. You didn't hear too much more from him. So what? Was y'all just putting on a fake show for the world? Or did you really catch feelings for Pete? But Pete didn't reciprocate the same back to you. Mm-hmm. That's why you're crying. Okay. Though he's been less in the spotlight lately, Wes was very public about his disapproval of Kardashian's new relationship for a while. The insider said, when Kim is with someone else, Kanye can cause problems with the kids. He tries to divide and conquer. He can't help it. Kim is a really dedicated mother, and her kids will always come first. She wants and needs harmony at home and in her life. But why did she start up a relationship with this younger man who, at a whim's notice, he's gone to the next state, to the next county, to the next country? Why does she start up with someone with so much flexibility? That is my question. Okay, the former couple first connected on the set of Saturday Night Live and even had a sketch in which they shared a stage kiss. Soon after, they began dating and it had seemed like things were getting more serious in recent months. Kardashian recently flew to Australia to visit Davidson while he filmed a new movie. Both of them had made an effort to see one another since they began seeing each other in October of last year. Flying from Los Angeles to New York, but it sounds like that effort has become too overwhelming. For who, Kim? For who? Not for him, because this is his life he lives. Everything is always uncertain. 
with him. That's the way his balls roll. But poke him. Poke him is all I can say. Continue to being totally exhausted. Sit your behind down somewhere and raise your kids like you're trying to tell the social media socialites that you're doing. You don't need a husband. You just need your kids. Raise them and then see what you can do later on when they all are in high school or something. Okay? You pretty much got them raised. Because they may go into business for themselves. Or then they may want to go to college. But between you and Kanye, you can foot that bill. You can definitely foot that bill. But that's all I got for this story, guys. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.